welcome to Earnings Life. Eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, live well. I'm charging a car, so as I charge the car, I thought I would share some information on my Ironman training, my powerlifting, and my journey on being the strongest triathlete in the world. Okay, look, lifting heavy, heavy weights, powerlifting, and just taxing the body with so much activities like running, biking, and swimming, you're bound to come into injury-prone territory. Injury-prone territory. Now, I've had my fair share of injuries, but I've always recovered because I take the proper preca precautions. You have to stretch. You have to stretch. You have to go to the sauna to sweat out the toxins, okay? And the number one thing I do to remain injury free and to alleviate pain is walk. Walking is very low impact, very low impact to the body. You burn fat, keep muscle. You will, you will burn fat and you will keep muscle when you walk. You have to just walk. I'm not talking about power walking or walking fast. I'm just walk at a comfortable pace where you can walk for two hours, two hours straight. That's what I do. This is what I do to stay injury free, to remain mobile, to remain loose, to not cramp up. You know, I've deadlifted heavy weights. I've, squ I've squatted. I've held more than 700 pounds on my back. I'm not even 200 pounds and I'm doing this. And I've remained injury free and I credit it to not only stretching, going to the sauna, eating healthy, but a lot of it is from walking. Just the simple act of walking five miles a day, you know, that's what's recommended, by the way. Health experts, people who study this, scientists, they've all reported that walking five miles a day, which is the equivalent of about 10,000 steps, 10,000 steps a day is where you need to be to operate at your optimal health ability to op to operate at your peak performance capabilities you have to walk around 10,000 steps a day that's a lot because we live in a sedentary lifestyle when people go to work they're able to just sit down all day i tell this to my mailman every chance i get i say hey man you're getting paid to exercise not a lot of people get paid to exercise. Let me say that again. Not a lot of people get paid to exercise. But my mailman, he delivers my mail to the door here in Southern California. And he's walking all day. He tells me he gets seven miles a day sometimes. <sighs> Man. But I remember when I was a assignment desk editor in Fresno, California. The assignment desk editor is someone who just takes the phone calls in a news station and they gather information and they tell the reporter and cameraman where to go. I remember I was able to sit down for eight hours and then on Fridays they would bring donuts. If you sit down for eight hours at work the whole day and you eat donuts, yeah, you're gonna get a big butt. When I was working in Montana as a news reporter, all the secretaries there who sat down all day had big butts. <sighs> Look, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with big butts. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is if you don't want a big butt, if you don't want a big butt, a big stomach, big shoulders, big arms, you have to walk. You can't live a sedentary lifestyle. There have been a lot of article studies that mention, that talk about how living a sedentary lifestyle can 
fuck up your health. So don't live a sedentary lifestyle. Remember Newton's law, an object in motion tends to stay in motion. You gotta keep moving, man. You gotta keep walking and keep moving. We are made to walk. Look at our bodies. Look at our legs. They're designed for this. Walk, 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 walk. 10,000 steps a day, that's what's recommended. I love you guys. Eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, live well, and subscribe.